Heat homes with garbage. Power buildings with the sun and the tides. What will the sustainable city look like? You're about to get a sneak peek. I'm Majora Carter, and this is my neighborhood. Exporting trash is still a huge financial burden. Without landfills, what does a city the size of New York do with all of its waste? A small company nearby thinks they may have the solution. I'm on a field trip up in Bristol, Connecticut, with the little gift of what some folks might consider trash. Hello. Hi, Majora. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. I see you brought us a present. I, I do. A little token of... New York City's appreciation. <laughs> exactly. What I'm going to show you today here at StarTech is elemental recycling. And we're going to do that with our plasma converter system. Now, I've spent a good portion of my career working to keep dirty waste facilities from opening in the South Bronx. So I'm a little skeptical about this technology. Welcome to StarTech. Thank you. Here's our bag of New York City trash. <laughs> and all of these materials, badminton rackets, motherboards, and plastics and metals and all will be broken down to their basic elements and it's the combination of the energy from the electricity and the heat that breaks down all of the material. This process essentially breaks things down to its their elemental form. Table. Table. Periodic table of the elements. It's, we call it elemental recycling. The systems monitor reveals something that looks a lot like a flame but Steve tells me this is actually plasma. Well, plasma is the fourth state of matter. It's essentially ionized gas. You have a gas that has electricity passing through it. Steve explains that plasma is actually very common. Lightning is plasma, and so is the sun. But temperatures inside this chamber are three times hotter than the sun's surface. Okay. Why don't I go show you how it works? Okay. So let me bring you over here, okay. Majora. Introduce you to Dave Lynch. Dave, Hi, this is Majora. Nice to Majora, meet you. Dave. Let's see what you got. So the shredder's not currently operating. We're just going to put it into the hopper here. I mean, this, this is there. the thing. Honestly, I'm, you know, as an environmentalist, like seeing the metals and stuff that are in this bag, and to know that they can actually be recycled. Yes. For the most part, these things should be recycled as the raw elemental materials. Mm -hmm. A plasma converter is not a substitute for standard recycling methods. It it's basically complements the standard recycling methods. Banana peels, yeah. compost, but plastic. Wow. Oh, go ahead. It's okay. Everything that goes into the plasma converter is first shredded to ensure a continuous feed. Not much recognizable once it goes through here. Lots of different elements of the periodic table. <laughs> Let's bring this over to the plasma converter okay. and make some fuel. Dave dumps the shredded material into the hopper. This stainless steel chamber is 14 inches thick. It's kept relatively cool at about 3,500 degrees so that it can withstand the 35,000 degree temperatures inside. We go to watch the monitor as the trash is released into the plasma chamber. Inside, nitrogen gas is supercharged with electricity by a torch to create a plasma wand. Trash enters and is broken down by a process called molecular dissociation. When any sort of molecule is exposed to this kind of heat, the bonds holding it together break apart. And so you're left with the elemental components of whatever you've put in. A melt of the solid materials and syngas, a mixture of several gases including hydrogen and carbon monoxide. We watch as the trash disintegrates in the blink of an eye the melt hardens into an obsidian-like material. So this, this, that was this. Yes, that this was, was the, a one-time trash. And okay. your bag of trash is going to come out just like this, or about half the size of this rock here. Really? Dave tells me this material is being used in the abrasives industry and to pave roads. And what about the gas? How does that? Well, I'll show you. Okay, great. The gas exits the chamber, travels through a series of pipes, it's cooled, then dusted before it ends up here. This is StarTech's star cell system, which takes the gas generated from your feedstock and separates out the hydrogen portion of that gas for use. What's so special about the hydrogen? Why do you want that? Well, the hydrogen can be used for a lot of things, such as fuel cells, and also for things such as over here, we have a hydrogen engine. Okay. 
This looks like a standard internal combustion engine, except maybe a little bigger. <laughs> and it is. It's a regular combustion engine that's been modified to run on hydrogen. Huh. So we're going to fire it up here. Dave claims that by separating the hydrogen, the plasma converter essentially powers itself with a 30% surplus. The only byproduct? Water. 